Now in 6.2, we're actually going to get into quadrilaterals. Got a couple of definitions we need to go over. We're going to go deal with parallelograms first. Quadrilateral, polygon with four sides. Okay, what is the sum of the interior angles? Sum of the interior angles is what? Equals. How many triangles do we have? Two, so it would be 360 degrees. Okay? All right, from that definition, we're going to do our definition of parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral formed by two pairs of intersecting parallel lines. Okay? What does that look like? Well, it looks like this right here. I've got line DCD. It's parallel to line AB. Okay, and they are intersected by line AD and line BC that are parallel, okay, forming a quadrilateral, okay, two sets, two pairs of parallel lines. Now, <clears throat> parallelograms have four characteristics. All parallelograms have them. If they do not have these, they are not parallelograms. We're going to get into test of parallelograms. Very, very important. Number one, they have two pairs of opposite congruent sides. Segment AB is congruent to segment DC. Okay? Number two, they have two pairs of opposite congruent angles. Angle B is congruent to angle D. Angle A is congruent to angle C. Opposite congruent angles. Number three, their diagonals bisect each other. If I cut the diagonals, they bisect each other. This one cuts this one in half, the other one cuts that one in half. And number four, consecutive angles are supplementary. Why? Well, because they're consecutive angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal. <coughs> Take AD as a transversal of line AB and CD Okay, these two are consecutive interior angles or same side interior angles, therefore they're supplementary. Same thing, these are going to be same side interior angles. These are same side interior angles, these are same side interior angles, therefore same side interior angle theorem says same side interior angles are supplementary. So consecutive angles are supplementary. A and D are supplementary. Angle D and C are supplementary. Angle C and B are supplementary. Angle B and A are supplementary. Okay? Four characteristics. You need to know them. Get them down. We'll go through a, a Venn diagram type thing that will help you remember these very, very well. Now, one of the other things you need to know about parallelograms is this. Parallelograms, when they're cut by diagonals, create four pairs of congruent triangles. Okay, so we have a parallelogram. It's cut by diagonal DB. That creates congruent triangles. ABD is congruent to CDB. Okay, that's one pair. Let's cut with the other diagonal. That creates triangle ABC is congruent to triangle C, D, A. Okay? Now, let's cut by both triangles. Let's name the intersection E. That creates a congruent pair of triangles. A, D, E, this one here and this one here. Triangle A, D, E is congruent to triangle C, B, E. Okay? That's one. Now, obviously, these two are also congruent. So triangle DEC, that's this one here, is congruent to triangle BEA. Okay? So when you cut that thing by it's both of its diagonals, it creates four pair. One, two, three, four. Four pair of congruent triangles.